Final Driscoll and Father Peter McVerry arrived together for the ceremony in Dublin's Mansion House. They were being honoured for their achievements in sport and social justice and for the inspiration they have given to others. Brian O'Driscoll, the most capped player in rugby union history, said it was a tremendous honour to be made free man of Dublin. I suppose it's recognition um, of you know the teams rather than necessarily me as the individual, the teams that I've been involved in. You look back to the Grand Slam in 09 when the, the country was uh, in, you know, in the guts of a, of, a, of a recession, I think it you know, brought a little bit of light into people's lives and I think it's nice to be part of something that's capable of doing that. Father Peter McFerry has set up 11 hostels for the homeless during his long career. Last year alone, he helped over 3,000 young people. I think it's, a, it, it, it's an opportunity to, uh, to put homeless people back in the spotlight again. The, the problem has escalated over the years and it's escalating again. And I think by awarding it to me, Dublin City Council and the Lord Mayor are in, in their own way acknowledging that this is a problem. Receiving the award, Father Peter McVerry became only the 77th person to be given the freedom of Dublin City. Then it was the turn of Brian O'Driscoll. Both men have joined an honorary role of freedom dating back over 130 years. It includes two US presidents as well as Mother Teresa and Nelson Mandela. John Corain, RT News, Dublin.